Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be speaking on CSI Linux. If you guys haven't heard of it, don't worry, watch to the end and we're gonna install it and I'll showcase some tools. So if you guys are new to the channel, please remember to like, subscribe and share and let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so if you guys haven't heard of CSI Linux, you can just go to CSILinux.com like I have up here and you can see this site. What I'm gonna be doing probably in the next month and a half or two months, I'm gonna be creating something, a new course that I'm not gonna announce yet, but you guys can get the gist of what I might be doing just by having this new operating system. I haven't installed it yet, and I'm gonna be doing that today with you guys. So it's on digital forensics, so we're gonna learn about some digital forensics, or you can tinker with some digital forensics tools, open source intelligence, so much more, right? So why CSI Linux? Maybe you can ask yourself why this versus Kali versus Pirate OS, Black Arc, etc. Right? So you can see, you can read this for yourself. It's just a awesome tool. I've used it on, you know, previous engagements, OSINT engagements, and just digital forensic stuff. And uh, I really enjoy it. I haven't installed it on my desktop yet, so that's what I'll be doing shortly with you folks, right? So you can see CSI, um, CSI investigation, Linux investigation platform, CSI Sim, and they even have an academy that you can learn some cool stuff. So you can meet the team. So Jeremy Martin, thank you so much for having this awesome product. So now you can just go ahead and click on CSI downloads. And once you come here, you can download it on multiple different platforms. I'm gonna be doing it in VMware because everyone knows my thoughts about VirtualBox. I hate it, that's just my opinion. I'll use it sometimes, but i rather VMware Workstation. But you can download it for VirtualBox. You can download the appliance for VMware. You can uh, have, in, have the uh, appliance on KVM and so much more, right? You can do bootable, uh, triage image, etc etc okay so just take note your default credentials is csi csi once you download it i already downloaded it it is about 10 gigs as you can see down here let's see if i can make this bigger well i made that too big i guess all right so let's make that a little smaller uh, let's make it a little smaller all right so you can see down here, or maybe you can't see the file, but I wanna go ahead and open that file up right here. And downloads, and you can see right here is the file, right? So what I'm gonna do is open that up and I can go to properties and you can see it's 26 gigs, but compressed right here. And I know I'm showcasing more than I wanted to, but um, you can see it's 10 gigs compressed. All right, so now this is un unzipped and all that fun stuff. So now let's get to work. So now I have my VMware, let's open up VMware. However, you know, whatever operating system you use or whatever, uh, excuse me, whatever uh, virtualization software you use, that's what I meant to say, use it, VirtualBox, VMware, but I'm gonna be doing this video in VMware. So what I wanna do is come up here and go to file, go to open, and go to the my downloads, my CSI Linux. And then right here is my VMX file. Click on that in my case and I can just hit open. When I click on open, we have it right here. I wanna go ahead and make some changes to it. We have eight gigs of RAM, that's perfectly fine for me. And I think I wanna go ahead and remove a printer because I don't need a printer. The more resources you have or the more things you have uh, uh, on your hardware tab, obviously the more resources it's gonna contain, right? So I wanna use NAT, that's fine for me. And eight gigs of RAM, two, two processes is fine. And what I wanna do really quick down here is, let's see, where is it here? I don't even have it. Maybe it's, uh, it was removed. Okay, no worries. So now let's go ahead and power this bad boy up. So once we power it up, we can just say I copied it. If you don't know the answer, I copied it. I actually, that's all I did, I copied it. I didn't move it. And then, right, it's fine for me. Yes, go ahead and start this bad boy up. And here it is. So OSINT Dark Web DFIR, uh, DFIR which is Digital Forensics Incident Response. So 
if you're looking to get into more of D DFIR or OSINT or dark web monitoring and, and, and forensics and stuff like that, this is a good operating system to utilize, right? Yeah, Kali Linux is good for more for pen testing, offensive security stuff. But, you know, if you want to get into the meat and potatoes of this, I would, I would consider uh, getting CSI Linux. All right, so the login here is CSI, right? Remember I said that. So we'll log into that. We'll give that a little, a little second. All right, so here we are. So now we are in, let's see if I can make this a little, uh, little bigger. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, never mind. I wanted to, let's see what other cool, uh, I actually like this uh, background. All right, I'm not gonna go full throttle on here, but what I am gonna show, obviously if you're familiar with Linux, it's, you know, go to the terminal and you can make this bigger. You can do a little LS action. You can do sudo uh, su csi, which is the password. Now we're in root and we can do who am I? We are root now. And let's go ahead and CD to desktop and we can do LS. We can CD to cases. Obviously I don't have any cases yet. All right, so you can do, you know, obviously CD dot dot to get back to the root. And that's, that's that, you know, I, I'm sure you know about that. So what I wanna showcase really quick, if we come all the way up to the Linux uh, tab, all the way up to the top left, you can see CSI Linux tools. We can create a case. We can get into OSINT and online investigation. That's really cool. Dark web, you can uh, do some dark web stuff. Incident response, computer forensics, mobile forensics, vehicle forensics, malware, which is my favorite, right? Not, it's right down here on the left, on the right-hand side, Deidre. All right, Ghidra. I always say Deidre, Ghidra. All right, so threat intelligence, we can see some threat live maps and all that good stuff. So now we can come down here. We can see different tools here, start a case. So we're gonna do a really quick, easy, simple case, right? So I wanna X out of here and you can also do it right here on desktop. You can say start a case, case management, system management, route your traffic through the onion, cryptocurrencies, about. So we're gonna go ahead and go to case management and start a new case, right? start a new case, that's fine for me. So in this case, I wanna use InfoSec Pat because I am InfoSec Pat, I have full ownership over myself. So enter the case that you want to, enter the case to add, uh, I wanna put test YouTube, okay? Investigator name, InfoSec Pat, okay? So, OSINT, I'm just gonna put OSINT, which should be fine for me. Enter the client name for the report, uh, Patty. Uh, and I'm not gonna do all that. You can just put blah, 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 blah. And the suspect name, I wanna put InfoSec Pat, because I'm, I'm the suspect, right? And let's go ahead and hit okay. So now what we have here is a CSI case management menu. We can do a whole bunch of things here, but we're gonna do basic OSINT online, right? So here we have domains and websites, geo location for IP, SID or SSIDs, which is security identifiers and BSSID, social media, capture video, but I'm just gonna do something really quick and simple, which is domain reconnaissance, right? So we can gather domain information, we can do an end map to that domain, we can do so much more here, right? So let's just do the first one is uh, gather domain information. And what is my domain? My domain is infosecpath.com. Okay, and this might take a bit, depending on your, you know, your internet speed and all that stuff and how much stuff you have out there on yourself. But now this is gonna go ahead and harvest search and it says, please wait. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but now you get the gist of what you wanna see and what you wanna do and how to create a investigation for yourself or for, for people that you have permission to do so. Don't do this on sites or people that you don't have permission to do so because that's a little effed up, you know? So we'll give this a minute and if this doesn't take long, we'll resume and we'll get back to the video. 
Okay, folks, so that took, I don't know, about 10 minutes. So do you want to, as you can see, we can see these results right here. I want to move this over for a second. Let me bring this in. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? No, that's weird. That's interesting. I can't make this bigger. All right, I'll have to zoom that in. That's not a problem. So you can see all my domains here. We'll put that off to the side. And then the question here says, would you like to open the findings in a browser? We can say yes here. Let's go ahead and click yes. And nothing really open. That's interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and minimize that. So now we have everything here, right? So maybe that took a second. And now we can say, for example, we can open up the JSON file, the harvester. So we can see, okay, like mail.pat.infosecpat.com. This is the only email that it ha that it's found. I don't know why can I make this bigger. It's really interesting. Um, but pat.infosecpat.com is the only email address that I have on my domain. And that's about it for that. We can go ahead and uh, close without saving. That's fine. Let's see anything else. We have this text file here. And let's go ahead and just the D cloud. We can see what is showing up from my Google because I'm using Google as my hosting or my email. And you can see all the information that it gives us here, right? So that is pretty much that's the temp. I'm just trying to see what else is here. Did we click on this already? Nope. So right here is the, uh, you can just go ahead and cancel that. Duck, duck, go, blah, blah, blah. So this we can, we can zoom in. All right, so you can see this is the harvester, my email, patinfosecpat.com. And these are all the, you know, www and mail. So not much really going out there for my site. But that's pretty much it. And that will go into the cases folder. So right here is the cases. And then you can see, you know, for example, your case and all that stuff. In my case, it's uh, infosecpat.com. And yeah, let's see if we just go up a directory. And we can see here, infosecpat.com, social media. I didn't do anything with my social media. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys a quick introductory of CSI Linux and how to create a case. You can create reports. You can do so much stuff with this tool, but hopefully this video was informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And until next time, have an awesome day.